So I picked one out and added a layer of gesso and I used the indigo blue gesso good white gesso which I love very much uh, using a brush and adding one layer of gesso so it has a nice surface to work on. Um, in this pack there is a front and a back for these tags so you can use, uh, use it to create a little book because they are a bit heavier than these. And they already have this eyelet, see? And these are a bit thinner. So you could make a nice little book out of this. So lucky for me. Um, next thing I want to do is use this piece of, uh, I believe you call it parchment paper. Um, I created this one day uh, playing with paint inks and pens and that kind of stuff but this is really wax paper so it's hard to work on this because the paint will peel off and I did that right here just you can easily peel it off like that you see so really need to be careful I'm not sure if this will work at all and if I can get it glued down on this piece um, I have other waxed paper and I tried the golden gel medium on that that kind of worked but I, I'm out of that so I'm going to try and use this and see if it will stick down onto my um, tag um, and maybe I can go uh, around it, uh, on, over it with a clear gesso or something and try to um, protect the paint that is on it. So let me start and using a piece of this. Am I adding a good amount of the gel medium and this is uh, by Ranger multi medium matte Ranger So let's see if this will make it stick down. So I will leave this to dry for a bit and see if this is working. So, so far so good. It kind of worked, but now I am going to peel off a bit, especially around the edges. Right here it comes loose, you see. I'm not sure this is going to work. I guess not. Now 
no it's not going to work you can see I can just peel it off completely or maybe I should leave it to dry way much longer I can try and do that So that is the experience I'm lacking because well maybe this could work anyway. So why don't I go and get some coffee? And leave this to dry for quite a bit maybe that will help also I could add a layer of gesso on top of it to protect the paint but I'm not why would that work mm. <clears throat> because if you can peel off the paint you can peel off the gesso as well right Let's see, let's try this first. Okay, so I think it will be okay. This is stuck quite well. So what I'm now going to do is laying, um, of adding a layer of clear gesso. It probably won't help to um, get uh, the paint to, to make sure the paint will stay on this uh, but I'm not sure because this has been a while since I created that which inks and paints I've used so maybe there is something water soluble and uh, at this point uh, if I go over with the clear gesso uh, I don't mind if it will move and react again but in a later stage I might so I'm going to add gesso, clear gesso from Art Basics and that looks quite funny. And um, make sure it's all sealed. And this will dry clear. I hope. Next step. Well, apparently I didn't use um, any water soluble inks or sprays on this piece of paper because it didn't smudge, it didn't uh, reactivate again. So that's a good thing. The clear gesso dried up quite clear. It only um, causes it to be a little more dull, this this pink paper, than it was before. But I'm okay with this so, so far. Uh, and again, I'm using a gesso to um, connect it all and blend it all in with each other and I'm using the heavy gesso for that and a uh, palette knife and I'm just going to oops are a bit toned down
I'm guessing it's okay like this. So this this needs to dry again. So I took out a few bits and pieces. Um, I have this bow tie image in my stash for quite a long time. Uh, so I want to use this up for sure. I think it's quite nice like this. What I did is adding a layer of um, art medium on top of this because this was printed from my inkjet printer and uh, the colors will react to that. So. Um, it, it was a little bit different kind of pink and now I've added this gel medium it changed a little bit I still like it so I'm going to use this right here but first I'm going to add a bit of shadow um, I think I just used the Faber Castell artist pig pen um, Just drawing a line and then use my finger to smudge it a bit. And you can do that um, if you have used a gel medium or a um, sealer, then you can move this around With doing this, the image gets a little more dimension uh, instead of being it um, well flat, really. So I gave it a bit more shadow. So that looks a lot nicer, I guess. And maybe I can also, when I put this down, um, do the same with uh, uh, drawing a line and make the shadow uh, a bit larger, a bit more shadow. Or I can lift this up. Hmm, maybe that's an idea to use um, the score tape. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, let me do that. So I get even more dimension. That's a little too big. to go like this yeah kind of like it and I'm just going around it 
with this and pen and I'm going underneath it really so it will make a nice shadow so also had this pulled out and I'm thinking of doing that and that yep Or maybe on this side. No. And I had this out, but I'm not sure if I will use this. Hello. Hmm. I also had this. guessing the black okay what about looking and I saw the word charming Well, I like that. Um, guess that could be okay. Should I put this up as well? I'm going to introduce a whole nother color if I do that, so... Could work, though. And then maybe doing the edges with a brown ink or something. What do you think? What should I do? Hello, looking charming. This could be nice, right? Yes, I'm just going to do it. And also had this in my stash for quite a while. So I'm really using up stuff today, which is perfect for the 100 things challenge. So I'm going to do, first I'm going to do some splatters. Like 
so. And as I have sealed this, I can just wipe it away. So that's perfect. I'm going to stick this. Ooh! Well, you know, these are stickers, but they very easy to tear. Hello, looking charming. Is that even English? Well, and now I always wonder if I uh, uh, watch the videos of my favorite artists if they are doing the back as well. You do when you make an art journal page, right? So you uh, use the back to make another page, but with a, a loose uh, individual papers, like a piece of watercolor paper, or in this case a tag, and because this is going to be a kind of a tag book, would you do the back as well? I wonder. I think so. So, to bring back a bit more of this color, or kind of, I mean, it, it is a bit here and here, kind of light brown color, so I'm guessing this is okay, but to bring in a bit more, I'm going to do the edges with an archival ink, and that is the coffee. So it all blends in with each other and is a bit more balanced. And as simple as it is, I kind of like it. And hopefully this video didn't take too long, so I can do it in real time. I can upload it in real time. But yeah, I'm kind of okay with this. So, what's left is the date, and it's the 18th, and maybe it's fun to do it like that, and that, and that, and that. I need to sign it and that will be short for my name and I'm going to do it right here which is Yo. Hi, I'm back for a second just to apologize because of all the noise you have heard uh, during the video. I'm on the room side. Can you hear it? A lot of traffic comes by uh, every few seconds like trucks, cars, motorcycles, whatever. It's really annoying. Uh, I can't help it though. Um, Thinking about possibilities I might have to change craft room again 
or maybe move back to my uh, corner, craft corner downstairs. Uh, it wasn't as loud there than it is here. Um, so I just want to say I'm sorry. I uh, hope you did like uh, the video though and give it a thumbs up. So see you again next time. Bye!